All right, let me know when it pop up on your screen. So the live thing. The live thing popped up on my screen, but I haven't gotten notification. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I'm cold. You say, hey, y'all. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Hello. Oh, well, it don't look that bad on the phone. You can release your video. That's how I look on the computer. No, it looks like, it looks, um, meaning is now. Meeting is now streaming live on Facebook. Okay, girl. I know. Um, yeah, it looked like really like via my tablet, it looks good. I'm trying, I'm trying to do a virtual background, but my freaking background, like chopping up my clothes and stuff, like chopping me off, like I ain't got no shoulder, no shit. <laughs> Let me get me like a stand. I don't know who all watching. Like, I can't even see it. Just give me numbers. I see Wilbur. Hi, Wilbur. Oh, okay. I guess now it's coming in. Like, okay. I see Damon. If I'm pronouncing it correct, Stephanie. Hey, you guys. Uh, we're waiting on Daniel, you know, our care bear. <laughs> He's like, oh, there you go. I mean, It's just three of us tonight, y'all. Right, right, right. Do y'all got some topics that y'all want us to like discuss, like our opinions on? Do y'all have topics that y'all be like, oh, we should, you know, who's the light skinned girl? In the, <laughs> <laughs> the light oh, catfishing. <laughs> Okay. Um, Why you feel like you catfishing? Because I look like I'm light skinned and I'm not. I'm brown. <laughs> Man. That can be argued. That can kind of be argued a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm brown. I ain't nowhere near light skin. We can't hear you. You're, can't hear you. Are you, you're muted. You're giving me a little almond joyish, not light skin. A little almond joy. All right. So, right, right, right. That makes sense. Almond joy. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, you guys, let's, let's go ahead and get started. I, I want to drag this out. All right. So, it should be quick tonight. Somebody calling you on. Oh, Ooh, look, Ooh. At, look at him. Let me interpret. Why are you calling me? I am live right now. What <laughs> you got going on? No, you know you like that's what's happening. Back. You know you're supposed to call me back, and I'm sitting here waiting on your phone call. But I told you what I it's had correct. to do. It's correct. I told you <laughs> what I had going on at 8 30 Eastern Standard Time. I feel like that's what you would say. Incorrect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so hi everyone. This is I've Noticed. Well, I'm Ashley Monique. This is the I've Noticed podcast, episode 12. Episode 12, we made it to 12. I know they ain't shut us down yet. Thank God. You know, Mike, what's his Michael Zuckerberg, whatever his name is. But all right, so make sure you follow the I've Noticed Facebook page uh, to get updates. If you're not already following us on our personal pages, uh, go like the go like and subscribe to the Ashes Yummy Tummy YouTube page. Um, that's where I will be posting the videos. So if you don't catch it live and if you can't interact live, then you can always go back there. I post the full video, the full episode, but I also chop it down into the questions, you know. Yeah. Uh, also, you can follow me on Instagram at Ashley Monique843. And uh, you can go like my catering page, uh, Ashley Yummy Tummy Catering. And my food truck will be coming soon. All right, you guys. If you ain't tasted her food, 
You don't know what you're missing. That's all I got to say. But well, I'll be on tour in June 2021. I'll be on tour. Does anybody know where my background's from? We'll give you, we'll give you a, uh, what, a cash app of $5 or something for lunch. Uh, uh, look, look, can, the first, can anybody in the comment section, can you guess Courtney's background? Like what, what show does Courtney background? So the first person who come up with the correct answer, you get a private phone call, private video chat with Miss the lovely Courtney yourself. No, you don't. Only five. <laughs> no, no, no. Other than... <laughs> wow, I'm mad she put you out there like that. She put you all the way out there. So we got a, a private Zoom call, private <laughs> video <laughs> chat with look, the illustrious Courtney. Look, Kurt, Courtney's the Beyonce. Court. Kurt, Courtney's the sexy one of the show. So they be like, yo, what's up? What's up with the light skin and the black? What's up? You know, <laughs> so you get a you get a private Zoom call, you know, with her. Um, so we're gonna try to incorporate that like every almost every time until she be like, you know what, I just can't do this no more. I, I don't do want to do no more Zoom calls, you know. So I'm not doing Zoom calls, y'all. We're gonna yes, fix it. Yes, she is. She's taking one for the team. <laughs> All right, because I sure ain't doing it. Nobody want to talk to me. Oh, no. <laughs> we gotta come up with another. We gotta come up with another game for you, oh Daniel. You know, for the ladies, you be like, uh, so for the ladies who want to take our private Zoom call with this that Daniel. I'm good. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> no, look, look. Be like, send in, send in your vocals to I am Rhythm, you know, and then we'll post the top three. Then whoever, and then you get a private duet with uh. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that, though. I'll do that. But, like, you know, actually be able to sing a little bit. Give me something to work with. I want my private Zoom call. Do you need security? Security. <laughs> security. Um, you guys, introduce yourselves and where they can follow y'all at and what y'all got going on. Daniel, go first. I'm doing something. What's going on, everybody? I go by Daniel. A lot of you know me as Rhythm. You can follow me on Instagram at I underscore am underscore rhythm. That's R H Y T H Y M. You can do the same thing on TikTok. Um, what I have going on, working on an album. Uh, I'm actually working on, uh, I'm also working on a script as well um, for a short. So, you know, trying to, trying to work on some things, but so I need, I, I'm gonna need actors in the future, but um, F you and that Mickey Mouse reference. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, I know who that is. That, that's not a regular person. I know who that is, you guys. Calm down. Like I, I know who that is. I mean, she you giving off the vibes, though. <laughs> Mickey Mouse okay, vibes. But you and this album, what's going on? Like, I'm starting to feel like DJ Khaled. Like, do I need to send in the vocals? Like, I mean, you got a mic. You know what I'm saying? I, All you got to do is... I, I, I can do it. And I still ain't even used this thing yet, because I ain't even got it situated. My God. I'm gonna need you to get it together. I know. I I, I be having so much going on that I don't even be coming in here like that. If but you need week... me, if you need me to set it up, I got you. What's up, Brandon? Hey, yo, week, I need I text, to... bro. I need you to inbox me right now, bro. I need I, I need to talk to you about some text. I'm sorry, that's totally off topic, but I'm trying to get you at it before the summer so I can show some skin. Um, <laughs> so I need I need you to I need you to get me right, Brandon. For real, I seen your work and it looked dope. All right, so Miss, uh, the lady with the background. Uh, I'm Courtney. Background. Um, you can follow me on IG at Full Court. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Where she don't have nothing going on. <laughs> that's why we're putting you in the Zoom Courtney, background game. Courtney has a, a modeling career that she's starting. Um. <laughs> So we're gonna get her portfolio right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. So y'all, let's get into the topics. All right. So make sure you follow everybody if you choose to. You know. Okay. So the first topic we're gonna get into uh, is: Does having a backup friend does that make your breakup less painful? Do you understand the question? Meaning, you break up with somebody. And you know, breakups are always heart heartbreaking. You know, you'd be so sad. You know, I almost thought that define friend. That's what I need to know. Okay, friend. Okay, I was trying like a to side clean. chick, I, honestly, side dude, like you're cheating. I mean, honestly, I want to use uh because I learned the word whoop de whoop. You know, I heard a 
<laughs> I learned something. I was like, oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Like, yeah, you know, my love, whoop, whoop. I was like, oh, okay. Sean. Huh? When Sean was on. Did he say that? He said that a lot. <laughs> oh, okay, because one of my cousins said that too. And I was like, because I didn't want to, you know, my one of my cousins said that. I heard her say that. And then uh, I was like, hmm. And then, you know, you know, with my personal life, I mean, yeah. But uh, I was just like, if you're dealing with someone and they break up with you, you know, whether you saw it coming or not, either way, it doesn't matter. Like break up still, they still hurt, you know. Does it make it more less painful if you got somebody lined up? It's always, it, go ahead, Courtney, I'll go after you. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I didn't want to just jump in. That's why I said that. Um, I so yeah. it's always less painful <laughs> it, you know what the you know i love quotes i've been given at least one quote ever since i started on this show you know they say that the quickest way to get over somebody is to get under somebody else if you're already under them because <laughs> you still like if that's your whoop de whoop it's always going to be less painful does it make it right absolutely not but to answer your question technically yes it makes it less painful when you got a little woody woo on the side. It always, makes, in my opinion, it makes it less painful because who are you going to cry to? <laughs> huh? I've never, okay, first of all, you know, on like three episodes of I've Noticed, I have clearly stated I have never, ever <laughs> committed any infidelity in my here. life. Don't Don't you broke up with somebody and then someone else helped you get over that breakup. I mean... In the, up, up. Brandon said that shit don't work. Just create stalker. So who is the stalker? Like your your whoop whoop your side person is the stalker. Like how would she become a? Or unless your main person, your main girl was the stalker because your your side chick she just went moved up. She's Are like we talking about someone that you've been seeing while you're with somebody. Basically, you your side about, dude, you like your side dude, the side you, girl. You've you been about cheating. getting up under somebody after breaking up. Your side person. Like you've been oh. cheating because typically your side saying. person, it, you're not, you don't really want to be. I mean, the, everybody that's watching, you can correct me if I'm wrong from your personal experience. You know, uh, your side person that's usually a, a sexual thing, that's not nobody or uh, man or woman that you really want to be with. You just want to see them doing roach hours, you know. I thought, I thought you were talking about like someone, like maybe not someone you met, maybe it's somebody you know or something like that, that you started talking to like as soon as you broke up. That's what I thought you were talking about. But you're talking about someone that they've already been seen while Sexually. they were in a relationship? Sexually. Yes, yeah. I do. Well, I mean, how in love can you be if you got a side person? I mean, it's not, it's not in love. It's just about, does it make the breakup easier? Does it, is it less painful? Because, you know, when you're, let's say you do love the, the person that you're in the relationship. I would uh, assume that, clearly. But then they'd be like, you know what, Courtney, I just I just can't do this. Like, you just started bleaching your skin and you didn't got light. You didn't, you're acting like an AKA, you know. <laughs> you're acting like an AKA. You went from Delta to AKA. Now, I just, I just think we should part ways. So then you'd be like, you know what? You're going to be devastated. But then you'd be like, so well, I would assume that if you, well, okay, let's say that somehow you were still in love while you had the side person. Right. I still would assume that it wouldn't make you feel any better. Like, because you still, like, at the end of the day, you got to go home, you still got to deal with your feelings of the breakup. I, mean, I just don't, I, I think you're going to go, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel, of course, the, yeah. but the thing is, what's what's the, let's, let me ask this, what's the worst part of a breakup, even after a long relationship being alone right like that's, not, the, that that's the worst part anymore. like man right. like this my i can't feel you i can't touch you i can't smell you so like now it's like you're feeling and touching somebody else you've been already feeling and touching and it's like okay now it's more it's kind of like a all right you're in the game now <laughs> it wouldn't be the same you said would it be the same it, it wouldn't be the same because you have feelings attached to that person you know what i mean like it's more than just the touch you know what i mean but you're still I mean, not alone. That's my I, I point. Think, I think it's more of like a, like a, like a, uh, like a plug. Just you know, just a pacifier. Like the pain isn't gone. Of course, you can't. Right. Just, no, right. It's just more of a pacifier. See, like getting over it faster because maybe you got your mind taken off of it. 
like if you're focusing on what you got going on with the side person at that point. But that's I, what that's the point, and that's what make it hurt less but because Asher doesn't make the breakup easier. Right. I just think it subsides the pain. That's my point. I don't, like, well, okay. My point is, I don't think it subsides the pain. I think it just. I think maybe you could. Uh, maybe you can get over it faster because you're focused on something else. But I don't think it would make the actual pain itself easier because you still you're still gonna feel that. You know what I mean? Like, well, maybe so. Are don't. you saying you wouldn't promote your whoop de whoop? You would just be like. You know what? I just need some time, and then well, they gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Like, I wouldn't have a whoop de whoop to begin with, but if I that's why this question is hard for me because I wouldn't have. If I had a whoop de whoop, I'm like, you guys use your imagination. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, I I had, imagination. if I had a whoop de whoop, I wouldn't promote them because they were a whoop de whoop. <laughs> But, but that, what, is, that is a common thing, that though. That is when going to Brandon, I think that's when you're, it could be a stalking type situation because the woo dude probably already had plans and they're like, okay, I just need to get this nigga out of the way. You know, now he gone. So what's good with you? They're like, oh, no, no, no. You There's still... been plenty of times where the side dude has become the main dude. I, I, I mean, and then the food dude has become the side dude. And then, you know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. The food <laughs> You know how y'all do sometimes. Y'all might have a dude for food. Or might have Not a dude y'all, for- but <laughs> no, yeah, I don't need it. Some I women, people some women, literally some went women. out with certain guys just because they right. Food. So right. I know what you're talking about. Right. I, I t- speaking of the food, like I just had a, a, a new guy recently. He asked me, he said, yo, what's, where's your favorite restaurant? And you know, that, that question puzzled the heck out of me. One, because with COVID, we ain't really been able to go to restaurants like that, you know. And then two, I'm like, do y'all want to go... I don't have a favorite restaurant. Like I got three types of food genres that I love, but I was like, do I need to get a favorite restaurant? It's for like when guys be like, what's your favorite restaurant? Where you want to go? Or should I take this opportunity? Cause this is what I said. I said, where, cause I'm a foodie. I like different types of food and stuff and going places. So I said, where do you like? Let's go where you like. So I can get to know you a little bit better, you know? That's cause smart. I'm going to order something off the menu, menu anyway. Cause That's I'm a smart. foodie. I'm not a picky right. person. So, but I was like, I don't have, it hit me that I don't have a favorite restaurant. Like, I'm not an Olive Garden girl. I'm not a Red Lobster. I'm not a Chili's. Or, Ooh, take me to Applebee's, you know, like. I think it's harder for you, though, because you're, you're such an experienced cook that you can go somewhere and be like, well, I can cook this at home. And that's probably the reason why you're the way you are. You know what I'm saying? Right. Courtney or Daniel, can y'all read Danielle's um response? Because I can't, it, it won't show me her Seymour. Can y'all it read shouldn't. Her? It shouldn't be painful if you have a side person because you wasn't given the relationship you're all in the first place. Also, it is another way to avoid or prolong the process of getting over a person. Basically what I said, I don't definitely agree with that. I agree with that. Kind of what I said. How in love can you be if you have a side person? Right, right. Well, I mean... Well, that's true. That was hold on. before I over over talk. Let me see what I. Well, then that goes into the topic number three. But we we won't skip it. We we go there. Okay, uh, I do see what Brandon said. Brandon said I've seen a a, a nigga have four five side girls, and still stalking the one that left him because oh, that oh. one got his heart. Oh no! Oh, see the one see, got that, his heart. That, that's borderline restraining order, mace, and stun gun. Cause like you're not gonna have all these girls and still be come on, bro. Like that's too much. Bro, tr- he need therapy. Therapy. <laughs> Advocate for me. therapy on this show. He need therapy and a restraint. She need a restraining order. All right. Um, he also said they called the food bait. Oh, oh, nigga numbers save as Burger. <laughs> That's funny. But that's facts, though. It bro. is literally facts, bro. Look, it okay, is literally that, facts. that should be a topic. Because if you're gonna be food bait, baby, I need more than Burger King. I'm gonna need What's no, that, he's just saying that's just what the name is saved as, Burger King. But, but that's like, perfect, though. I, w- I never knew about food bay. Hashtag food bay. Let me write this down. Let but me I, write this down. You're going to make it into a topic. <laughs> interesting to me because is there a limit on food bay? Like, should there be a, a, a level of food bay? You know, like, price rise. Like, I like that. Write it down. Food bay. All right. So, um... Hashtag food bay. All right, so. Hashtag food bay. Okay, so I think we kind of like 
we're kind of like on the I think me and Daniel agree that having the whoop the whoop or the side person does make it like it kind of distracts you more yeah. and Courtney is more on the well I mean if you love them why would you have a food bag <laughs> <laughs> no, I think maybe it'll I'm I would think that it will help you get over it faster I don't think right. it would help with the pain completely though. yeah so I think that's so but we're, we're all three gonna agree that it's not it doesn't take away the pain it's more of a, a numbing cream it's more of a yeah. like I said a pacifier you like until mm-hmm. you find but that is interesting that how like what Courtney was saying like they're just the the sexual person um and you oh we need we need to well, it's not just, yeah, a, I, 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 that's I, the only I, thing I disagree with. That it's not just, a, there has been situations where the side dude has literally been like, you're, she's in two relationships. She has two boyfriends. She doesn't have a boyfriend and you a know side what? dude. We need some side dudes. You can remain anonymous. You don't have to show your face up here. You can just call in. But we need some side <laughs> dudes to start calling yeah, in. Yeah, because I, I don't know what that means. So y'all can have that. Some man can come over. I ain't never been no side. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, too greedy yeah, and selfish we'll for that. We'll take you off the show. We'll take yeah. you off that day. <laughs> I am too greedy and selfish for that. I am not coming second we, we to nobody. Get, we don't want your blood pressure getting up. But we need some. You can inbox me. We need some anonymous side dudes and anonymous best. side chicks to tell your story. Like, is it like is it? Calling. Per- what, what type of perks do you get from being like the side? Like, I want to know. You know. What I have, what I have, because I've had conversations with people, I will say that they say, like, they enjoy being the side dude or the side female because you get the benefits of a relationship without the responsibility. I mean, so I you don't have to, you argue. don't have to be their therapist. You, there is no arguing because they, they don't care where y'all. They just only care when y'all when they're ready to freak or ready to get something to eat. So, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, there's, there's a lot less responsibility. And technically, you're still single, so you can see who you want to see. As, as the side person, you know what I'm saying? But there's there's been situations where they don't, they'd rather be the side dude because you don't have to kick out money like that. You ain't got to, you don't have the responsibilities that a man what, would what have in a relationship. Mean, you don't pick, kick out that much money. I think hotels, like I want to, like I really want to talk to side people, like really side men, because I kind of know about women. I want to talk about side, I want to talk to side dudes because do you out like what's the sugar? You ain't lying at all. I'm sorry, sugar said they're gonna catch on to them voices. They're gonna have, we're gonna have to put a voice modulator or something on there. Make well, the I'll, extra I'll, high. I'll leave it up to the guys to call to do the download the app to disguise your voice, like you know. <laughs> but, um, like I want to know, like, do y'all pay for hotel rooms? Like, is it always your responsibility to pay for hotel rooms? Like, do you do do you go through the drive through and they got a lady seat back, or is it always DoorDash or uh Grubhub? Like See, that's you, too much for me. Oh. This was like, it's so interesting to me. Like I just, it's I'm, I'm intrigued. When people you people know. do it, they go to great lengths. Great yeah. lengths. Yeah. Well, well, I've never had a side dude before. Um, I, I have admitted that I've had a, a I've cheated emotionally, meaning like you uh-huh. know just converse with a, a person, and it, it never was any. It didn't lead to anything physical because okay. I didn't I didn't let it get that far. It could have went that far, but I didn't let it get that far. But I will say, like, guys that I don't want to be seen with, uh, and we go out of town places and stuff, like, I go doing, I don't, I never do weekends, ever. I do not do Friday through Sunday. It's always a Monday through a Thursday. Why? Because, first off, the rates are cheaper. And then, secondly, you're not going to bump into nobody like that, you know, because everybody got, y'all got jobs and shit. You know, I'm self-employed, so I ain't got to worry about, oh, ain't that? No, it's not, you know, but, um, well, yeah, but, I do want to talk to side side dudes, so I'm gonna start. Brandon with Brandon said he'd been a side dude before. He was just used for sex. So how did that? Make so me tell your story, <laughs> sir. Tell us, because I don't know. So tell us, tell us your story. And and uh, and and. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that was my whoop de whoop. Uh, no, if y'all went out of town, that was your whoop de whoop. I didn't want to go. Like I listen like I'm weird because I want to go but I just didn't want to go with him and then you can't if somebody's spending that money you can't be like oh just send me motherfucker want to go too and I'm like why are you so selfish like let me just go <laughs> relax, <laughs> relax why you so myself. Selfish. like just just cash out me 20 you know just let me go you know 
but uh so brandon whenever you're ready to come on and talk about you know your you know you can advertise your your own tattooing business and everything <laughs> advertise your tattoo business and everything and then we can also you know d- do a deep dive into a side nigga. the life of a side nigga. the life of a side nigga. that's a documentary um, i'm a film it is it is you gonna have guys that they want uh, the screen all blur their face out yeah it's just, just a silhouette <laughs> Man, I remember like, this one. I really love her, Man. bro. But she was just like you know, the guy who has like four to five, six side chicks. Like, I want to see how that is managed. And chasing after the main girl. Right. I want. I was. I would watch a documentary about that. Selfish ass nigga. But anyway, he said. He said, "I've never paid for a room. We just messed around wherever we were, <laughs> and mainly my house. That's what he said." If y'all was outside. Well, I guess that uh, she no, he probably that got his own spot. But he said she, whatever. She probably would consider that spontaneous, but I would look at that as like money. He wants to get some money. But all right, let's okay, let's move on from that. Um, let's go to topic number two, which is um, have you ever been catfished? Now, have you ever been catfished or have you done a little bit of catfishing? And I mean, we're adults here, we're grown. It's okay to talk about it if you done a little catfishing. Cause I've done it, you know. We talk about me a little bit. Like, so, <laughs> I'm just thinking about the stories that Ash is gonna say about her being catfished. Oh, no, oh no, no, God, no, let's plenty. not talk about that, please. I got plenty. Oh no, 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 I ain't gonna talk about that because please, you know, that, talk about y'all that. probably tired of hearing that story. <laughs> I got plenty Please. of catfish. I got plenty of catfish stories. I almost got catfish today by a man that work at IGA, and thank God he don't wear his mask properly, which you know you're supposed to wear your mask like over your nose and over your mouth. But this fool, he was drunk because I could kind of smell, you know, the alcohol on it. So his mask was kind of like down here. So as he was talking, he grabbed my hand and went to kiss my hand and shit like I'm a princess or some shit like that. And then when, as he was coming back up, I said, "Oh, he missing some teeth." I was like, you know how I feel about teeth. Catfish. But anyway. Head in the water. Yeah. So, have you guys ever been catfished? Period. High school, yes, college. I have been catfished. I've never been a catfish, but I've been catfished. Um, wow. So, met this. I was in high school. Met this girl. Okay. Um, met this girl on... What was it? I think it was MySpace, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, and um, longer. yeah, this is. I mean, I'm 27. It's 10 years ago, so it might have never. Yeah, because I was like, well, mine go back further than that. So, <laughs> but yeah, it was. Um, I was catfish, and she was. You know, it's really, it's a really pretty girl, or whatever. Or at least her pictures were, and um, it looked real. The profile looked real because it was a lot of pictures of her. You know what I'm saying? That's what I look for. So a lot of pictures of her. She had like 150, 200 pictures on my space. And uh, or something like that. And so I tried to, you know, she said she was from Charlotte or whatever. I'm trying to like video chat. This is when Uvu was just getting hot. Oh, and, I remember that. Yeah, like, and so I was like, man, it's Uvu. I got a laptop. Like, we could just talk. You know what I'm saying? And she was, she always came up with just like the TV show. She always came up with some type of yeah, and, and then she would be like, oh, yeah, like, let's do it now. And for some reason, her camera wouldn't work. For some reason, her computer wouldn't work, something like that. So I'm like, okay, you starting to BS. And I told her, I was like, man, you got, you really have an ultimatum. Like, we, we video chat or you just don't hear from me no more. And um, she was like, fine. And she video chatted me. And she... Was just the dramatic pause. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, because it's just I'm just like, bro, I don't, I'm so mad at this, but like she was just not her <laughs> at all. Okay, okay. But the thing is, before, she looked like her. Hold on, but it was she took on. her cousin pictures. Hold on. So what did you thought? I need to know what you thought she looked like, and then I need to know what she did look like. No, no, okay. no I ain't no thought what she actually showed him. Oh, okay, her, well, that's what I'm her saying. Her pictures like, were this light-skinned girl, nice hair, very beautiful, nice shape, things of that nature. She had a beautiful smile and everything. Um, um, her, <laughs> her actual self <laughs> was, she was still cute, but she just, like, not it wasn't the picture 
<laughs> okay, so what was what was the feature? You know like, what it was. You know exactly what it was. I want it. I want him to say it. Yeah, say it, Daniel. What? Say it. What, what do you what, think what it is? is? What do you think it is? Uh, she probably was a BG. You know how many? I'm a BD. Like, you know, you know how many big girls? Are there? There are no, some, a there big dude. Big, there are some people who do not want big girls. I get that. And that wasn't the problem for me. She was a BG, but that wasn't the problem for me. <laughs> what was the problem to? wasn't her weight. The problem wasn't her weight. Was she just wasn't, to? she wasn't aesthetically pleasing at all. <laughs> he and, got the correct growler. He <laughs> look, there you go. It's trying to be safe right now. When I'm trying to be nice. Album, no, don't want nobody. No, no. Count to dance. <laughs> count to all your rhythm. Look, look. No, I, don't be nice. Just say what it was. What, was what, what turned you off? She didn't take care of her hair. Like, it was... And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. I gave it a chance. I gave it... And this is what bothered me about her hair. I gave it a chance. God is cold and enough. every time we video chatted after that, we video chatted like two or three times after that. Oh, so you did try to give her a chance. I tried. That's what I'm saying. Like, the, the size wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, I, I've dated big girls she in the great. past. Like, that wasn't nothing. But it just, she didn't it just, she was one of those, you know, our size, we got to, we got to carry ourselves a certain way. Absolutely. We have to carry ourselves a certain Absolutely. way. As men, as women, you oh, over 250, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to, you, <laughs> you, you, you over the 300 mark, like, you got to <laughs> carry yourself a certain way. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody does. But <laughs> Courtney out here talking like she agreeing, like she a, a, a person of big. She's been a BG in like two damn years. She's talking about, we do. <laughs> we do. But you got to. You a reform BG. Like, she's like, we do. No, nah, I ain't scared of this story at all. Uh, Damien, I just, I, I ain't scared. I just don't want to, I don't want to be rude. You know what I'm saying? But You're not like, being rude. You're saying what it is, though. And that's just what it was. Like, she I didn't take. I also want to know something, Daniel. What's up? What was her complexion? She was like in between, well, in between you and Ashley. Like, what? not like the way that you look right now on this camera, because you do look had a light skin. Like, <laughs> she was in between, she was in between y'all. Like, she was like caramel, like the color that I guess that you that you claim to be. Okay. Um, yeah, disclaimer for people who haven't seen the show, I'm not this like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like it, the compassion didn't bother me. It's just like you you gotta take care of yourself as a big person. And right. if I'm if I'm doing that, and in high school I was really big. I was like three thirty. You know what I'm saying? Like for for high school student, that's big. So like, if I'm trying to do that, if I'm trying to take care of myself, you know what I'm saying? Like you can do a little more. Well, first off, so, you supposed uh, with the stereotypes, you got to go above and beyond when you are overweight. You, you know, you have to I'm go above you. and beyond. You know, so uh, which is. You know how um Courtney... I ain't dancing around the words. I'm trying to find them. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Courtney, you don't like uh the oh you're pretty for uh your complexion. Oh you're pretty for a brown, brown skin girl. You know some stuff like that. So you know I get the oh you have a cute face. Uh, you know shit like that. But um I get what you're saying. Yeah, we do have to go above and beyond. You know when you're not. You know whatever. But um. Right. Courtney, and, and, your... and like I said, to anybody, to any person like me, like anybody that's that's hefty, like I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? So don't let me don't. I'm not saying like <laughs> shot. Know, <laughs> no, I ain't shooting wanna, no shot. Then you don't want to get canceled, buddy. <laughs> that's what I don't want right now. This is kind of scary. But well, now, album, what, album what, sales what? going up. They said I know the podcast. Cancel. <laughs> Right. It, look, Daniel Man. issues an apology. It goes back up, <laughs> but then they see another episode. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, that's just all it was. She just wasn't. She didn't take care of herself, and she wasn't aesthetically pleasing. Like, and that's just what it was. I'm not talking about physical features. As in, I'm talking about features that she could have changed. You could at least that she had. That hair, she had. Right? She could have taken care of herself. Not nothing. That it was born. Like, what she? No, could've... it was nothing that was you know, physical as far, well, physical as far as like you're born with this and things of that nature. No, absolutely right. not. It's just simple things like, you know, just simple things. You know? Right. And then the fact so, that she lied to me, that's big. So you lied yeah. to me about who you are and I still tried to give it a chance. Like, it just didn't work. So how doing. long was it? How long were you in that catfish stage? Like, like how long? Four or five months. Oh, that ain't bad. 
Because you know, people be in that shit for years. I mean, yeah. but when you're a teenager, four or five months is a long time. It was, and it felt like a long time. It felt like a really long Especially time. Especially if he was trying to, hey, let's video, let's Uvo, you know, like. And I didn't, it was the four or five months, I didn't ask to video chat for, it was at least like a month and a half, maybe two months. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, because I was trying to, like, just get to know you on a, let's talk on the phone, let's, you know what I'm saying, text, and then we'll we'll get around that. But after a while, just like, okay, something's not adding up. You know what I'm saying? And if you're going to lie about this, what else are you lying about? You know, but yeah, that, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> uh, that's very interesting. We can't hear. You, you can't hear me. You good no, now? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. Um, I feel like she had a face. Huh? I feel like she had a face. What do you mean? The girl he's talking about, I feel like she had a face. Like, like you know, someone cute. like you know how someone ain't ugly, but they have a face. You know what I mean? Um, okay. Like okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <am> lost. <laughs> okay, so like you wouldn't be like like it's a person that's not gonna make you do a double take, right? It's not someone that you would necessarily call ugly, but they have a face. Like that's the best way to describe it. Like. I'm trying to think of like a celebrity. If she, can... yes, okay, I see what you're talking about. If, like I said, if she would have done the, the you know what I'm saying, the normal thing. Hi, like, David. Brush your hair. Uh, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> brush your hair. <laughs> yeah, so like, I, I kind of want to go into that hair thing because behind the scenes, me and Courtney was talking about hair, you know. Okay, we was talking about hair or whatever, but. What was it about the hair that just triggered you? Like, what, how, like... That was just what I remembered. Again, this was like 15 she years ago. keep her hair done. Yeah, like, that, that's just one of the things that I remember. I can't say specifically okay. what about her hair. Like, it's just, that was one of the things that it was just like, okay, you know, if, okay, if I'm going, if I'm planning to get on, maybe it's just me, and that's just weird. If I'm planning to get on FaceTime with somebody and I had a little hair up here, I mean, I'm bald now, but if I had hair and it needed to be brushed, I'm going to brush my hair kind of before, because we're not to the point where I can see the worst of you yet. Right, right. You know that, that, like we're that not, waking up in the morning type right. of fresh face look. Exactly. We're not to the point where, like, you know, we can talk while you on the toilet and I'm in the shower kind of thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as an excuse, as an example, I'm just <laughs> right, saying, right. like, I, I would at least, you know, give some, or at least wear a do-rag. Wear a scarf if your hair ain't done. Like, that's just one of the things, like, that I remember that turned me off. You know what I'm saying? I know it's probably really shallow, but it's just like. No, because she knew better. I mean, women, we come on, like, we, we, you know, you got to do, even if you're not like a girly girl, because I don't really consider myself a girly girl. Uh, even if you don't get your nails done, like, professionally or your feet done professionally, you still got to do something to it. You still got to push them cuticle back, you know? And even if you're not like the, the eyelash uh -oh. girl or the little chapstick on, you still need to do something, you know, like to be visually appealing because women, we give guys more chances and opportunities with the, oh, okay, well, he got a nice personality. No, men only attract to us if they want to fuck us. Like, it's not like, well, she, the only way you're not faced like, Courtney was saying like you like look good and they want to deal with you it's like if they just knew you like you just got a great personality you're funny like they you was already their friend there has like, to be the, something there yeah there has to be something physical there upon meeting somebody it's just like walking to the store and you see a fine woman or a fine man in the store and you like I would take him or her to bed like you you know what I'm saying like it's just it has to be something there like I'm not y'all know me I'm not shallow by no means you know what I'm saying? But it's just a simple fact of there's got to be something about you that attracts me, that makes me tick, that makes Have me want to touch you. Have you ever been in a situation where a personality made that person more attractive to you? Yeah, plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Plenty of time. My, my, one of my exes, because like going back, looking at pictures and stuff, like I used, because I used to call him like a stream being. And I was like, and just looking at pictures, like he was just so odd. And then he, the glow up, like as you, the year passed, you'd be like, damn, he's fine. But he, oh, he wasn't always fine, you know, like, you know, and neither I was either, I, you know. Now. God almighty. 
it, neither was I, but I don't know. That, it be so, like that glow up shit be real for real. Like, when you look at past pictures and stuff and video, you be like, God, who that was? Let me tell you, I deleted every picture before like 2018 or 16 on my Facebook and Instagram. Like, <laughs> I did. I, I, I got to go back and bro, go back and, and redo some stuff. But I looked I, at that stuff and I was like, no, I was ugly. Like, I was effing ugly to me. Like, to me, I did not like the way I looked. Now I feel you. I, feel you. I do the same thing. I, I don't delete nothing unless it's really, really, really bad. I, I, got but it. I, I, I feel you. I look back and I'm like, I don't even look the same to me. Me neither. My mom got this picture on her wall now that I've been begging her to take down. Or at least let me tape up a new face where mine was. She got a picture of me and my brother and her and at, at our church banquet. Man, like I'm literally like three shades darker because I was always in the sun. Like that's not a problem. I love chocolate mist, but like the way that I looked, I hated it. I looked so bad. I looked so bad to me. And everybody's like, "Oh, you so handsome!" My grandma got a picture. Oh, you so handsome! And I'm like, "Oh my god." Courtney, what Please. about you? You had a catfish situation, or have you ever catfished? I feel like I catfished like when I was in high school, like beginning high school, like freshman year, where I was like on the AOL chats and stuff like that. <laughs> I, like, on 21. Uh, I feel like AOL I did chats. that, but as far as like like seriously, because you like when you was doing that shit, you knew it wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> like you was just no. doing that shit for fun. But I feel <laughs> like like really, I've never been catfished, and I've never catfished anyone. I don't think. Okay. Well, I have, I've been on both receiving ends, but um, we're not going to focus on me being catfish. We're going to focus on the me being a catfish. Uh, what, um, what, what Courtney said, it was back in like high school, uh, the AOA, AOL days, way before Wi-Fi, when you had the, the big ass computer monitor and you had to plug it into the computer. You it wasn't like you could phone. walk around. Yeah. Like, and then you, <laughs> you, when you cut it on, you heard, you got mail, you know, like you heard that. And then basically, like, I just couldn't wait to come home from school, you know, do my chores, whatever. And then uh, go in the chat rooms because, like, it was just, like, different chat rooms and shit. And you could be anybody you wanted to be. Like, you really can kind of do that now because, you know, I don't know. But uh, you could just be anybody you want to be. And you was just meeting people from all over the world, like. And when I say all over the world, I'm from South Carolina. We're from South Carolina. Well, I'm from South Carolina. And, uh, you know, all over the world wouldn't be like uh, Spain or something like that. It'd probably, well, they had international chat rooms, but, you know, you just have, it would be rooms that that have names like um, I am a Scorpio. Or it, it just be chat room names like that. So you just be like, hey, what's up? And anybody, like, hey, what's up? You know? And then, <laughs> let me tell you this right here. I don't watch the show Catfish anymore. I've been stopped watching that, but I kind of like uh, felt what people would say, like the real catfish. It's not the ones who doing it out of spite, like not the ones who somebody hurt their feelings and they was like, yeah, I'm going to get you. Like it was more like you just being friends with somebody and you were sick. Huh? I said, you shouldn't have called me a fat ass Kelly Price. <laughs> That's right. Not that shit. Not that revenge type shit, but it was more like, you wouldn't send your real pictures because even back then, Stranger Danger was real. So you'd be like, well, actually, if Stranger Danger was real, why would you talk to them to begin with? You know, because it was fun, duh. And so you would send somebody else's picture, hence your cousin or a friend of somebody. And then uh, I used one of my cousin's friend's picture. And so, uh, but I let her know that I was sitting using her picture. And the guy, he was like sending us stuff. And the reason why I say us, because I was a big girl, so I couldn't fit none of the skinny shit that he was sending, you know. Right, right. Like, listen, I got a book. I got a book. I can write a book like this somewhere. But I'll say this right here. The guys that I catfish, like, it's kind of weird because when it came all up, out and about, it was like, okay, well, I got some. Because the guy, he wanted to, like, fly to come see me. Like, it was so crazy. Like, I, I love this guy. I, I love him. I was, <laughs> I was just so weird. So you you're getting the confessions of a catfish right now, okay? Uh, I love him for real because his granddaddy died, and he was supposed his family was sending him a plane ticket to go to Florida to the granddaddy funeral. Do you know he rerouted 
that they come to South Carolina to come see me. And how I knew he was doing it, because he kept asking me, he was like, because he was from Maryland. And he's just like, what you doing this weekend? I'm like, why? Because he was just like badgering me, like harassing me about my weekend. I'm like, why you keep asking me about my weekend? Like, you know, and then it, it just clicked to me. I was like, I think he's coming to see me. And so what made, I was talking to my cousin and I was like, this is how I know whether or not if he's coming to see me. So I said, oh, I'm going out of town such and such uh, Saturday, you know, and then when I said that I was going out of town, he was like, no. I was like, what's wrong with you? He was like, yo, I was coming to see you. I was going to surprise you to come see you. And I was like, and that's when I had to do the, the do the uh the sad shit. The, the sad music started playing. Neven, whoever coming out. <laughs> I was like, look, I got something to say. I went in my room, shut the door, got on the floor, grabbed the pillow. I was like, look, I got something to say. <laughs> and I was like, that shit is real when they be like, I mean, it's me, but it's not me in the picture, but it's me. That shit is real. Meaning everything that I was saying was true, but it's just not physically me. You know, right. shit just got out of hand. Is. Shit got out of hand. Like you mm -hmm. start out doing it as fun, you know, like, oh, I ain't about to show him who I am. Psycho, uh, predator, you know, but then you just start talking, then it go from the public room to the private room, like the AIM, a a i m whatever it was. Yeah, so AIM. now you like email it to now, like now y'all talking on the phone, you know, <clears throat> stuff like that. And then of course, you know, you're giving like little bullshit excuses about video chatting and shit. But I will say this right here. My catfish story, plural, uh, <laughs> turned out, <laughs> turned out a little different because I actually was fake. I, I don't think I'm Facebook friends with any of my catfish people now that I catfish, but yeah, I'm working on myself. Look, we all ain't shit at some point in our life, okay? <laughs> uh, so me and my, we were actually Facebook friends, like, and I, I got some success stories with my uh, catfish people. Um, they're not all bad people, you know. Um, I'm still looking for one guy, Charles. I'm looking for Charles. I have, I can't find him for shit. You legit know? like looking for him. Yeah, I want to keep up with the people that I like. Courtney, I'm writing a book. Like, I, I like listen. People, certain people play certain parts in your life, you know. Like, and I remember Charles, but I just can't find Charles for shit. Like, I've been trying to talk. So clearly, his his Facebook name or his social media name is under some shit. Like, where guys like to post like, uh, beat that, beat that bitch. Uh, you know, it ain't his real name clearly because I can't find him whatsoever. But like, I got success stories. Like, some of our catfish people like truck successful truck drivers owner operators uh principals um entrepreneurs like yeah i got friends that not catfish but like you was talking about the aim stuff i got i got friends that i've met on aim i got like two or three that i'm friends with facebook now and mm -hmm. we've been friends for like years since we was in high school one it's ironic one actually that i met um on aim <laughs> was from new york you guys it was and ended up moving to South Carolina. Oh. Like, yeah. And I actually met her in person as adults at the hospital by accident. <laughs> Listen, that, look, for real, y'all, it is me, but it's not it's not me physically in the picture. The inner, the inner but side. Yeah, but like the talking on the phone, like you can't I'm not that type of catfish where I was just making up, oh yeah, we stay in a two-story house. And then no, I was telling like real shit. Like real nigga shit. Like I was telling what was really going on. But uh yeah, um, and I, you know, I used to love that guy, like for real. I'm not gonna call out his name, but I did just what made me bring up this question was because I went looking for him two days ago. And oh, Lord, not two days ago. yeah, like two days ago, like I went looking for him um because we are Facebook friends, but he loved to like delete his page all the time because like he's like doctoring, like he's like educated, educated. And he come a long way because he got kicked out of college and it was it was a lot. He got a success story too as well. But when I went look for him, I was like, damn, he still ain't activating his page. Cause every time he activate his page, he do it like every like three years. He'll pop up on Facebook and, and, and message everybody like, hey, what's going on? You know. And he always reach out to me and he always like, I'm proud of you. And, you know, and I'm, 
I'm coming up on another milestone in, in my life. And so I was like, where is he? Where's my congratulations? I'm proud of you, you know, type stuff. And so I went looking for him and he still ain't activated his page. And, um, but I Googled him and he's in his, he's a principal. Like he's, you know, he's doing good for himself. But, uh, yeah. Um, Catfishing ain't always bad. You guys, I just, that's what I'm saying. Catfishing ain't always bad. Sometimes you just got to give your catfisher, yeah, is it catfisher, catfishy? You got to give them an opportunity, a chance. You know, just, just talk to them. At least be friends with them, you know. Just be friends. As long as they ain't causing no harm or nothing, just be friends with them. God. But I'm over that catfish and shit. I ain't doing that no more. Now, now we got to wear the mask and stuff. Now I'm getting catfish. So I guess God, I just can't find a man with teeth. Like, so I guess this is just my uh punishment from back in the day. Maybe, maybe, maybe God's trying to send you someone that just has to be a fixer upper. Maybe that person doesn't realize that teeth is that important. Now you know every woman in this it, that's watching this right now is like, I don't need to fix no man. I shouldn't have to fix nothing. I know they about they typing it. right now. I can feel it. I get it, but I'm saying maybe that's as as Kiki, aka Michelle of the group would say, maybe that's your calling. <laughs> <laughs> to put somebody at the dentist? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what God has intended for you. Oh God. <laughs> I, I've been saying that. Yes, I said that. I, I said that about Ed. That's what I said. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I, said I could have been the man that. that God has for you. <laughs> Courtney, did you just snort? <laughs> again? Did you just snort again? <laughs> I'm loving oh. your face. <laughs> you are not messing oh. with Daniel just now. <laughs> Daniel, we're gonna, we're gonna, never ever. Uh, I don't see how. Actually, Daniel, I actually have another situation for oh you. Oh my gosh. And okay. it involves nipple rings, tongue rings, X stripper. All right, I know. I, I just I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so let's move on to topic number three. What is the wait? <laughs> we're we're talking about it after show. All right, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so um topic number three. Can you be in love with two people at the same time? Courtney, I would like for you to, because you... Oh, uh, that's why you said that goes with question number one. Oh, I'm ready to hear what you got to say. Go ahead. So you think that's impossible. If it's impossible, then how can you love your son and your daughter? That means you can't love all your kids the same thing. No, 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 no. If you were talking about romantically involved, you could not be in love with two people at the same time. It's not... Okay, devil's advocate. I don't think it's possible. Like... You can't be in, I don't know how, you just can't be in love with two people. You I can't, can't speak for nobody else. I can only speak for myself. If I'm in love with somebody, I don't see nobody else. Like, and that's just what it is. Now, granted, one, I feel like it's go. possible, if, I feel like it's possible to like more than one person, like romantically, but to be in love with somebody, I agree with Courtney. I don't think it's possible. Right, you can't, like, in love? We're talking about in love? Thank you, Brandon. I knew you was gonna come through. I don't even know Brandon, but I knew he was coming through with the. I don't think it's possible, but I mean, I mean, for some people, it's possible. I guess I don't know. Well, let me ask you something. You do you think that parents have favorite children? Is that what you? Hell think? yeah, they got favorite children. I still and if think they that's different. Anything though. different, they lie. But I still think that's different. I still think, I think that that type of love is different than all loves are different types. And all yeah. loves are different types of love. So you, of course, you got your parent. Like, just if you want to ask about a child, I think also with um parents, you have a favorite parent, don't you? You have. A I gotta parent, have a favorite parent. My dad walked out when I was ten, so my mom okay, is my okay, favorite. Daniel, we're not gonna bring the show <laughs> down. We're not gonna. Bring... <laughs> I gotta have a favorite. <laughs> we're not gonna bring the show down. But right, so that's what I'm saying. So when I so love is different with different situations. So of course. Of course, you have different. You have a different type of love uh, when it comes to children. You have a different type of love when it comes to parents, your spouse, your partner, um, your job, like co-work. Like, of course. So I think, but I just think that it's possible that you can possibly love two people at the same time. Like, hence why. What is it? The poly, polyamorous, or whatever shit. Is okay, you know what I mean, you put it. You like know that. what? Yeah, I mean, I'll take my sense. statement back. I don't makes know, sense. I'm saying like that, that I can't be in love with two people at the same time, but polyamorous, 
yeah. uh, relationships are a thing. So. They're, they're a thing. And even they're with that, thing. they still have a favorite wife. I still think they have a favorite wife. Like everybody I, I, has a favorite something. Like you gotta, you got a favorite sister, favorite brother. There's favorite always a cousin. number one and number two. There's no right, equal. right. Yeah, yeah. Right. I definitely agree with that. Okay, so, oh, so I'm making some. I'm changing the world here. Okay, so it is possible to have be in love with two people at the same time. It no, is. I still stand on what I say. I don't think it's okay. possible to be okay, in love. Okay, so for you, you think that for you. For people, yes, yes. Sorry, yes. For, for people, people in yeah. general, I, yeah, it is possible because polyamorous yeah. is it's a, a thing. thing. It's a thing. But for us, that's not a thing. <laughs> As well, you, I, I feel speak for yourself. I think I could love two pe- two guys at the same time. Now, of course, there I would have a favorite. You, you can be. You think you can love two guys, or you can be in love with two guys? Yeah, I've, I've had that situation before. The only, the only the only reason why it didn't coincide like that was because one of them was like in a, a whole different type of situation where you know but yeah being in love with some yeah I, yeah i was i have been in love with two people at the same time for different reasons you know like i was going to say that if the reason they have everybody loves somebody for a specific reason it might not be the same right. reason. Did so that i, I agree with hmm? did you love one more than the other yeah, the one that was like way more, and he 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 felt it too. Like he he felt like he didn't feel that. No, no, he knew that I loved him more, but he also knew that I was in love with the other guy as well, and that like burned him up because he was like, "I'm doing all this stuff for you. I want the best for you. I want," and I I couldn't shake it. Like, but now looking back on it, I'm like, "Damn, I fucked up." Like, I could have. <sighs> I probably could have had a ring on my finger by now and everything, you know. What I mean? but being greedy, <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, he knew, um, and there were reasons why I loved both of them, but there was also reasons why I chose to like physically be with around and with the other one, you know. Um, now the question is, if I was able to be with both of them at the same, would I have done that? And That's the answer would be yes. It probably would have been, you know. I probably so, would have. So, so, so they met each other, or whatever, and they were like, "This girl's in love with both of us." You know what? Let's just let's let's all just be in one big old relationship because we don't want neither one of us want to give this girl up. You would you would be like, "Yeah, I'll do that relationship." Yeah, because she's winning. After this situation, she's winning. She's literally gotta, having the best for both you worlds. You gotta worry about two birthdays. You gotta. <laughs> You might not, actually, actually one of the guys that the, actually the one that I was in love with that I couldn't like grasp like get a hold to uh we both got the same birthday actually on some I'll give you an exclusive sneak peek of my book uh they actually was working together like on some trap shit like they actually was working together you were, you know, were messing I, with I, co-workers so interesting <clears throat> my life is so interesting but you know oh my god you about to call stri- <laughs> you know strife at the workplace a workplace incident. They fighting over you. Nah, they, no, it wasn't like that. Uh, because they both they, was too like they both was too G with it. They both was like. But they knew I about mean, each other. Did they? Or know did just one know? They about knew. The other? They knew that. How it, it was like. One of them that I wasn't with, he knew that I was with the other one that I loved. But he was on some shit like, uh, you know, I can take you from that nigga anytime. And I was like, no, you can't. You know, like I was like that. No, you can't. I love him. You know, which I did love him, but I love both of them. You know, um, <laughs> that girl, her, uh, I want to read it. When too, it comes so. to the book, I think I want to get Whitney to write it because she's like great with like words and stuff. But then again, I kind of don't want Whitney to write it because I don't want her to like dangle shit over my head. Like, all right, Ashley, remember that uh, that chapter that we did put in there? You know. Yeah. Uh, so I, I want to get like. And now she got to buy the book. <laughs> I'm telling you, you gotta let me know. I need one of the, I need an autograph. Some of them dark emojis. <laughs> yes, yeah, I gotta go a, louder than that. The fuck? I need an autographed, <laughs> like, first batch print out like, of that book. Listen, yeah, they, they, they sit here as yellow as she is. She was sitting here and talking about she, um, about as dark <laughs> as my hair. She was sitting here and tell you that. She'd be like, I'm blacker than you. <laughs> That girl's like a Simpson walking around here. She talking about she making it. Yeah, I, I think emoji lives matter. Like, I think you should go with the emojis that are talking about. I'm black. 
<laughs> but, um, but yeah, they they work at the same place, and My you know, God. and it was more on some like um, it was like I mean they was cordial because of me, but on the low, like the guy that I was actually with, um, in a relationship with, like he would give me hell on the back end, and it was just like so fucking annoying. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm not even with him. Yeah, I love him, but I'm not even with him. I'm with you. Like, and he was like, what fucking sense does that make? I was you gonna know? ask you, did that that make absolutely I know. no sense? <laughs> but I, I felt <laughs> at the time, because I was younger, at the time I was like, but I'm with you, like, why are you giving me such a headache? But it was the fact that I was looking out for the other dude, and it was it was just I fucked up. Okay, like I'm older now, I've been through some things, and I realized. You know, so when you see this, call me, you know. But um anyway. Um I mean he, 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 he already in a whole relationship and everything now, but call me so we can talk about this. You know, I'm working on the book, you know. We can... I'm working on this. <sighs> and I need you in it. I know he already know we, we already talked about this, you know. But uh all right, so uh so basically final final uh wrap up of can you be in love with two people? Yes or no. It is possible, apparently. Okay, Courtney. It is possible, not for me. All right, and I say yes because I've lived through it. I got a story to tell. All right, so question number four, financial literacy, okay? Um, could you commit to someone that has a lot of debt or that has filed for bankruptcy? Does that matter to you guys? Daniel? Financial literacy. No, I, I oh, I thought she was calling mine. Uh, yeah, um, think about it now. You're grown. You ain't I need no a child. second. I need a second, Courtney. You, I'm gonna need you to go because that's a lot to think about. <laughs> um, that's how I feel, Brandon. Low key, yes and no, but like it just, I think it depends on it's, it's bankruptcy. Doesn't bother me. Okay, say say I'm with somebody who is um on child support, right? Ooh, okay, and. Uh, their own child support maybe they haven't been paying you know they have you know back pay or whatever you call it or however if we get married that's now part of my debt too you know what I mean so that's that's kind of it's a tricky situation I think it, I think it all depends it is I, I know situations where basically the person was like in debt had a whole bunch of back pay they got married because they're now filing together yeah, it and the taxes counts. get taken, yeah, and then they factor in their income. Her. Exactly, it's part of her thing. But it's too. possible to file married but separate, right? Or do you get penalized for that? Uh, I think the circumstantial. I don't know. I don't know. And then it also depends on the state as well. It, it yeah. does depend yeah. on the state. But you, but yeah, I, but I, most I definitely know. it's possible to marry, uh, to file married but separately. That is the only like, reason why I say that is because <laughs> this is I'm telling my mama business, but she like she said. She said, like, after after my parents got divorced and, like, her first income tax, after that, she went from owing money to getting, like, almost seven grand back. So she was like, dang, like, if I if we could have did this, we would have been straight. Because, like, every time she filed with my, every single time she filed with my father as married, she owed money as well because of his debt. But she said she had the option, like, she, when we, like, grew up and started getting jobs and stuff, she told us the story. And she was like, she told, like, she had the option to file uh, separately but married. And she would have been able to get, you know, what she needed and not have to deal with his debt, even though they're married. So that's why I was like, does it really, you're not necessarily taking on, but she said she did it because he. Well, I don't know. Kind of like loved him. (laughs) That's the reason why. I'm talking about, I don't know what exactly they filed. I know that his debt became her debt and to child support like she owed child support too because they were married i don't know how they filed but i think ashley is right like it depends on where you're at to like you have okay. to file together okay. but i see i don't know that yeah. that being said like let's say that was the situation like it's kind of it's kind of hard it's because even if like you don't have that debt you still have to like you're you're married now you're still one you still have to take on part of that debt you know what i mean like i don't know how you the only <laughs> I don't know how you can marry someone and then like say they're this, you know, this big amount in debt and just ignore that. But it's the same thing as marrying a rich person and they making you sign a prenup. I know well, it I, is the same thing, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's the same thing. Like you're saying, well, we're one, we're one. 
Like, say it's, for instance, if I'm a mar- if I'm a millionaire and I'm trying to marry you, and you like, okay, well, let's you know, I don't want to sign no prenup. It might be a problem for somebody because I'm a millionaire. You're not. <laughs> you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly, and it might so, be a problem for somebody who doesn't want to take on that, that debt. debt. Yeah. So I, I totally think, agree. I think it's more so what individually, what are you willing to take on? That's right. Just yeah. That's just what it. Yeah, that's, that's what it comes I, down I, to. I feel like that absolutely. Um. So with that being said, general question here: yes or no? Will you excuse student loan debt? Like, do you ignore that? You got because everybody comes with student loan debt, or is that like, well, hold up, how much student loan debt? Well, I this is this is how I feel about that. The more student loan debt you have, I feel like the further in school you was trying to go. So, okay. like that. That is what I take into consideration. Doctors, lawyers, surgeons, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. They're thousands and thousands upon thousands of dollars in debt, some of them because you're trying to be in school for darn near 15 years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so for me, it's like that kind of trumps that because you still have the, the potential of making over $100,000 a year as a doctor or surgeon or something like that, but you have a lot of student loan debt. So yes, I would exclude that. Well, okay. Sh- Sugar Not, that's my point. She doesn't have to. That's my point. But for me, I don't see me being with somebody who has this big debt. We're supposed to be married. We're supposed to be one. You know, that's how I would look at me being married. I don't see if someone has this big debt. I don't see how I can just ignore that. I can't. I don't see me saying that, oh, this is their debt. You know what I mean? Because of where but it's, it's still their debt. I, mean, I get what you're saying, but I'm. I, I get that part. That's what I'm saying. I get yeah. that part that that's their debt, but I don't see me just ignoring that and putting that burden because if we're trying to build something, that can hurt what we're dealt like that could hurt what we're trying to build. I so feel that. I don't, if so let's start. I'm, with, I'm not saying that everyone has to deal with that or everyone, you know, or maybe you can't get married and you can't ignore that. That's for those. That's what I'm saying. It's, a, it's an individual thing. For I me, see that. I'm not, yeah. I'm not going to be with somebody with this big ass debt that I chose to be with. And just ignore that because it's their debt. But what, so what, my question is, would that stop you from being with him? If y'all are obviously a lot of people don't talk about and that's finances. what we that's what we're getting at. We're gonna yeah, start a lot of people don't talk that. about finances. Now you now you're dating this dude. Now you're starting to fall in love with this dude, and he's like, by the way, if, if IRS that's is looking for it, yeah, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? Look for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they looking for us. You know, what right, I'm right. they're looking for no. you and me. Right. No, you're completely right. We don't talk. I mean, well, we. Uh, I do. But I'm saying. You know lot, I do. We know you do, business do. lady. But a lot of people don't talk about that. Um, right. But I feel like if I felt like it was worth it, yeah, I would deal with it. Look at God. But what is worth it? Now I want to die. That's what I want to know. What is worth it? What is worth it? What do you mean? He's just the man of your dreams. He's everything. And he's everything just, I want. He's it, it, everything okay. I would want in a man. It's it's who I want to spend the rest of my life with. If I felt like that was the potential of what's going to happen, if I had my feelings, if I was in love with that man to that point, to where I was like, you know what, he worth it. I you know what that's called, people? Compromise. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Compromise. We need a name for him because Kiki got Michelle. What we gonna call Daniel? Charles, I, I told you, Care Bear. I don't know. I come up with we come up with something. Y'all Care Bear. The, the, the ones that be watching this show and see that Daniel is an extremely different type of guy. Uh, we need a nickname for him. Uh, you know, but um, and don't say right. nothing uh, offensive. <laughs> all right, so okay, my <laughs> thing is, I do have these conversations. I have two types of conversations. I am having the um, the debt. Well, I don't really go debt debt, but you know the credit score. I do feel like we need to start having these conversations. Uh, period about asking about credit score and about debt, and I talk about prenups. Um, I've had guys that are very offended by that. I've had, but I've had more guys be like, "What the fuck is that? You all right? You you good?" They thought it was a damn. I was taking medication. <laughs> Hilarious. They was like, "What is that? You okay?" I'm like, anyway. So, uh. Which is basically, I'm saying, uh, the guys that didn't know what that was, they were offended. Some of them were offended. And I, I broke it down to them like this right here. I say, okay, uh, do you have house insurance? Do you have car insurance? Do you have life insurance? Do you have insurance on your cell phone? And of course, there's like, yes, 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 yes. I say, okay, so a prenup is 
insur- an insurance policy on the marriage, you know? So just in case if shit doesn't work out, you're mad with me, I'm mad with you. But when it comes down sitting to the table, it's not like you're going to want so much from me, you know, like, oh, you're going to pay me spousal support. I'm taking the kids. You're going to pay me child support. No, you. it's an insurance policy where you keep what you have in the relationship, came into the marriage with, and I keep what I have came into the marriage with. And then uh, whatever we build together, you know, we split amongst each other. And then also the prenup. Very important, uh, Brandon. The prenup is, uh, that's just the beginning. Like you can always um, amend the prenup as things progress. So like right now I have a couple businesses. So go into it like he ain't getting shit. But let's say he partnered with me within the third year of our marriage. And now we have like this uh, restaurant together, you know, a mom and pop restaurant or whatever. Now, but let's say the fifth year, now we broken up. Like he ain't shit, I ain't shit, you know, because I love two niggas at the same time, you know. So now we come to the table. Now that first prenup is gone, because now we're going with the second prenup, where now we're dividing the assets of that the, that restaurant, that mom and pop restaurant, you know. So yeah, um, so basically the point of this is you guys listen, even had a conversation with your side dudes and your whoop the whoops. Ask them. What's your credit score? Like, how much debt you got? And then before you get into a serious relationship, like marriage, start helping that person, um, um, like, chop down that debt. Like, sometimes, like, work some extra hours and put, like, women, I think we're more financial. Like, a lot of guys go work and then bring us the money because they know we're responsible with the money, you know? So start setting yourself up, <laughs> start setting yourself up on a budget, you know? To where you can pay it now. Because like a guy, you got to show me. I think Brandon had mentioned this earlier or something. Somebody mentioned it earlier. But like you got to show that you're willing to knock down the debt. You got to show, put some type of effort in it. So hypothetically, let's say you propose to me. We're engaged. But I don't want to go into marriage with your $30,000 worth of debt. Okay. So we're going to use like, I I break shit down in the corner. So the first three months, you need to show me we we paying off something you know the next three months now we're six months you pay off something you know but uh we're not walking into the no uh no marriage in no thirty thousand dollars worth of debt you know that that's just ridiculous you got to so i think before you take that leap you know but to each his own y'all can knock it down together while y'all already say i do you know but to me personally i just need to see some type of effort like i'm not doing that you know Cause I don't want you thinking, assuming that automatically, like my money going to pay for what your stuff, you know, and that's facts. I'm not doing that. That's facts. Now I'll help you. I, those of you who watch the show, y'all know I am a helper. I'm not, a, I'm not a stingy woman. You know, I will help my man, but he has to show some type of effort. You know? Right. So. I feel it. So basically uh, my answer to that, no, I ain't doing it. You know, but I'll help you get up out of it as a friend and as a lover. But as far as some type of commitment, commitment where we bonded for life, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't Will and Jada. We ain't no bare marriage for life. I ain't doing that shit. But uh, all right, fifth topic. We got a scenario. I think we all been through this already, which is having Facebook friends or social media friends. But I'm, I'm I like to stick with Facebook because you can see more faces on Facebook versus. Instagram, whatever. Um, have you had a Facebook friend that like or love your statuses, but when you see them in public, they don't ever speak. They don't even be like, hey, it's not like you wanted to be like, hey, girl, how you doing? Oh my gosh. You know, you just wanted to be like, hey. Have y'all, how do y'all feel about that? All right, don't matter to me. It don't matter to me. I will say there was a, there was a, because I recently went to South Carolina in October. And there was a girl, like, I was visiting my aunt at the daycare she worked at. They were having something for Halloween or whatever for the kids. And there was a girl there. And she was like, hey, Courtney. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because one, you know, my family in South Carolina, they don't call me Courtney. They call me Danielle. So I was just like, who's, who's calling me Courtney? <laughs> and so I was like, hi. And then she was like, you don't remember me, do you? And I was like, <laughs> No, not really. I, to be honest, I don't even know her name now. I forgot it. But she was like, my name is such and such. And I was like, when she said the name, I remember the name because I seen her like my photos and stuff. But I don't remember ever meeting her. But she spoke. Okay. 
But I, I mean, I didn't care either way. No, you're not press. You're not press for it. You're not like this girl always liking my shit, but don't never. No. Why? <laughs> I see people, some people feel some type of way about that. Like I see people that make that and it's like I'm like, does it really matter? And then it started making me think because I'm like, because I don't get a whole lot of likes, but I don't care about that. But one thing that kind of made me be like, hmm, was when I see people in person, they be like. You are so funny. Oh my God. And I'm like, but bitch, you don't be liking my, you don't ha 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 my stuff. Like, but I'm like, I'm confused. So that's the only thing that kind of make me be like, but I don't post things for, first off, I'm not posting it for a like, a laugh. It really be shit that be happening to me for real. And it just so happened to be funny. But I'm like, when they see me in person, they're like, you are so funny, girl. Oh my God. But they don't, ha 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 the stuff you know i'm like okay so i'm like well i guess i prefer the the in-person award versus the virtual online award i guess i feel yeah. like it would well no not really it wouldn't bother me either way but i feel like for you i feel like you'd be more annoyed like well why you ain't like the page like well, <laughs> i thought about it i was like hmm. <laughs> i feel like i feel like it would bother you if it was the opposite for you that's how i feel like you would think I feel like you'd be like, well, I would like someone coming. Like, I love the podcast. You'd be like, I ain't never seen you in the comment. <laughs> like, <laughs> we like read the comments and stuff like that, you know. But it also should bring people out their shell as well, too, you know. Because sometimes you feel like, like with Whitney. Whitney, I got to know Whitney more through the podcast. Like, because of her commenting in the thing and then her coming up here. Yeah. So, Daniel, so for you, okay, you sing, right? You're an artist. You entertain. So, Let's say they're not following you. They're not sharing your work. They're not doing nothing. But yet when they see you at Walmart, they're like, bro, that was good. That was good. My nigga. You know, which are you, are you going to feel some type of way? Like, hold on. This nigga ain't, he ain't subscribed. He ain't like, he ain't shared. The only reason why I won't, I won't feel no type of way about that specific scenario, what you just said, is only because a lot of people don't follow my social media, but they'll come to my open mics or they'll come to my performances and just be like, oh, like they'll see me in Walmart and they'll be like, oh, bro, like you was at the joint the other day. Yeah, you killed that. So that's why I never, I would never, I mean, I don't care either way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I just need the right person to see it. Not necessarily a lot of people to see it. You get what I'm saying? Right. So like, that's the reason why I put content out. It's not necessarily for the millions of views uh, it's Absolutely. more so I, I totally like I don't care if I get 127 if three out of the 127 are in a place and a position to change my life that's all I need right, um right. but as far as that specific scenario um I wouldn't think about social media you know what I'm saying I would be like oh he must have saw me somewhere you know what I'm okay. saying um now I, <laughs> it's funny that Brandon put it in the comments but this is what I was thinking the whole time because he said um I'm just saying, if you keep liking my stuff because you want me, you know, shoot your shot. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, since I've glowed up a little bit, got a little bit cuter and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? I have had those thoughts. Like, I've had to where, like, you know, as a single man, I get, and especially if it's in succession of each other, like, if, if they're, like, right after each other, like, I just see, she liked your photo. She liked your photo. She liked the oh, status. Yeah, she liked yeah. your photo. And I'm like, what you want? Just, you know, my inbox is open. Boy, like, <laughs> she, just, she just discovered you. Like, she's just like, oh, okay. But like, that's what we, heart, that, heart, heart. I've had that, I've had that thought before is what I'm saying. Like, right, not for right. everything, but like, literally I've had that thought where it's just like, man, like, you can just skip all the, me trying to figure this stuff out and just, you know, hit yeah. the, the blue inbox. That is so interesting, Daniel, because if she, let's say it's like five photos in a row, right, in your notifications, do you sit there and go to your inbox like, all right, she coming. <laughs> no, I don't sit. <laughs> no, I don't sit and look at my inbox. But it's it. The thought is in my head, like right. something's about to happen, and now she's gonna comment next. And that usually what happens. She comments, and it's just like, okay, this is it, well, something's about to happen. And then next thing you know, ding. What's up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I, it's happened before. So it's like okay. that's the only thing that you know I've I've thought of. But like as far as people 
that say stuff. And then I've I've gotten that. I've gotten boy, your TikToks be cracking me up. And I literally said that, but I didn't even know you TikTok. follow me. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just what. Girl, you know? we got some famous on the panel. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, we oh, we know he famous. We know it's that. Right on the Twelve Show is still accepting submissions. I'm not gonna tell you again. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? I saw a video of an amateur, and she made it to like the blue screen or whatever like that. And I was like, dang, Courtney is right. That could have been me. <laughs> send, me send me a link to that show so I can see what you're talking about. When you get time, send me a link to that so I know what, exactly what y'all because I have no oh, I idea. Said, I can send you videos. I, I'm telling you, it's, it's big. It's yeah, definitely I have big. no idea what y'all started, So I'm pretty sure that the next one is going to be on at the end of the season. I just don't, I, don't, I, I mean, I'll do it. I'll shoot the What's shot. the worst that could happen? All they're going to do is say no. I turned out to be one of them people that's on American Idol that sound really bad and they laughing. <laughs> well, do you have a vocal coach? Do you have like a, you do? Uh, what is not that? a well, not a coach per se, not a coach, but like training and stuff and people that okay, I still talk well, I mean, to. Don't think you do is try it out. I tried out for a, a couple things, you know, um, famous. Ones. I got, they wanted me. They wanted me. I was going to be on TV, y'all. But guess who fucked it up? My cousin. Oh. Who? You? No, I, I was gonna say you. I don't, listen, <laughs> listen, light camera action. I'm whatever you need me to be, baby. I'm a chameleon. But it was my cousins, like them fucking potheads. But anyway, oh, no. one of one of them smoked so damn much with the ring light on. He he passed the fuck out. Damn, they talking about it's hot in here. Is, is it just? He did the damn Wendy Williams shit. Like he about to pass the fuck out. And so they was like, we really want you. We really want you. So they gave me another opportunity. So I go get. Mind you, it's hard picking in person because I was going to be gone for seven weeks. Who do you know that does not have a job that can come on the road, travel with me from state to state for seven weeks? Everybody got jobs. Hence, while you see I'm doing the show on a Sunday, you know, everybody got jobs. So then the other cousin, he just didn't fit the look. He had dread. He was a black. He was black. <laughs> Uh, he just didn't fit the look for what they wanted on TV, which I was going to I was gonna pitch to them. I was going to say, listen, yeah, he got a little record, but you got to take this opportunity to spin it around and be like, he got out the streets. He's using this opportunity to cook and, and get out the streets. And, you know, it's going to be a success story if they would have just let me go that far. But they was just like, no. I tried out for a play in the eighth grade and didn't get it and haven't tried out for anything since. Girl, <laughs> are you yeah. surprised though? We literally had a whole segment on why don't we shoot your shot? I can't, I just can't even think about the rejection. I just can't, <laughs> I don't know what I would do if they said no, and I would just want to know why that they said no. And <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not, as, I'm, not timid. I'm not as timid as Courtney, but I don't shoot my shot at guys either. Like, oh, um. God. No, no, this is why, because I feel like I'm not everybody's cup of tea, so I'd rather the guy come to me so I know, okay, he's interested in, in me. So, of course, I do the virtual background check, and I, you know, go through the page, and I'm like, mm, no, or either, okay, you know, but most of the time, it's, mm, no, you know, and then most of the time, they already my got question for that. Here's my question for that. Why, why is it that, okay, why, why is it that, I understand the stigma that the man is a predator, you know what I'm saying, the things of that nature, the hunter, per se. Like but predator, that's why I said, that's why I said hunter. That's why I said hunter. That's why I said hunter. I changed it real quick. But you get what I'm saying. Right. Um, the, the man's supposed to be the hunter, supposed to go after his woman, things of that nature. But in, in this event, right, I always said, and I even said it before, if more women shot their shot, more women would be in relationships. Because well, men men think the same way that y'all be thinking like, okay, I'm tired of getting turned down. Like I'm tired of getting told no. So I ain't gonna tell, I ain't gonna tell nobody. I'm just gonna see if they come to me. That's what's going on. Okay, happen. first off, change yeah. up your accent because that's scaring me because it's giving me learning disability. <laughs> like, I ain't, I ain't. But that's how people be talking though, right? <laughs> that's but you know what? You know what, Daniel? You make a good point because you see, this is why you here. Because you might be right when you, you hit it on the head for me when you said, they probably getting tired of girls turning them down. And then in my head, it started spinning real quick. Like, if I did shoot my shot at somebody, they might be like, damn, I didn't know she, she liked it. You like me. Right. Let me tell you. I glowed up a little <laughs> bit. Like I keep saying, <laughs> I glew up or glowed up a little bit. I was okay. having a conversation with um, a female from my first semester in college. 
Okay. And we ain't talked, and this is 2011. It was like 2018 when I, when we find each other on Facebook or whatever like that. And she asked me, she was like, why you ain't never said nothing to me? Why you ain't never, why you ain't never like, we could have went and, and then on the day we could have literally, she's verbatim, she said, we could have been married by now. And I'm like, oh. okay, I did, like, I did like her. I thought she was a very beautiful young woman. But the thing is, like, at that moment in time in college, like, I wasn't, I wasn't as confident as I am now. Right, right. And, but I asked her, why didn't you say nothing to me? Because I didn't know what you would say. Uh, that's the reason why I didn't say anything. You know what I'm saying? So, so like, look, oh. Check I this went. out, Courtney. Court, check this out, Courtney. Going by Daniel's logic, right? So I'm going to shoot my shot at my social media press, right? The one that's getting married? <laughs> fuck, that, fuck, fuck his fiance. Because uh, Daniel, <laughs> I am rhythm, told me I need to shoot my shot. <laughs> First of all, what do not put my name in nothing. Hey, look, let me say this in the mic. Let me say this in the mic. Let me say this in the mic. Uh, if you watching this and she <laughs> slides in your deal to the fiance of this man, do not try to come find me, okay? Because I did not condone this type of behavior. <laughs> I'm talking about two single people. First off, first off, no, you told me she was first off, fuck his fiance, and I'm pulling up like a young blue, uh, what a song called? At that uh, wedding, at the wedding, we had that blue card, or exactly what you talking about? Uh, I'm going to the wedding. <laughs> It'd be like, oh my god, so I always, object. <laughs> but no, I don't forever hold your peace. I, I object. He's supposed to be with me. Right, he really is supposed to be with me. Like, there's oh a lot god. of context clues to show that he's supposed to be with me. But you know what? Fuck him, cause I'm, I'm getting over this. I'm slowly getting some, over him. You know? That's what I'm saying. Find somebody available. I mean, I'm not saying you. Should, <laughs> but I'm just saying I will go to the wedding with you. I'm not even going. Like they make me. I'll film it. On my nerves. Like I'm sick <laughs> of this happy. I'm sick of this happy shit, shit on my timeline. Like I'm, I'm really about to block the ass. Like for real, straight. Oh up. my gosh, leave him and her alone. Let them be happy. How about that? Okay. Nope. All right. Nope. It's because of y'all that men be messing up. You know, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. It's a joke. Don't crucify me. Step out of his happy home, supposedly. Uh, Damon said, "Why didn't you talk to the girl, Daniel, after y'all reconnect?" We did. We talked for a while. We talked. Like, are you asking like relationship wise or just like we never? Okay, so we never got into a relationship because we like she was she was from another a whole other state. You know what I'm saying? Like she went to college in Columbia. We both went to Benedict, but she was from a whole nother state. So we when we reconnected and things of that nature, it, we we were talking, but it was just the distance. We just kind of like uh, yeah, I, hate long distance relationships. I don't mind long distance relationships, but it takes a lot of effort. And at that moment in time, I was like, I, I don't just have the energy for that. So we did. We talked. You know what I'm saying? We talked for a while, but it just didn't, it didn't really go anywhere there wasn't like sparks you know what i'm saying but the, but, but the, the point of this is you're saying if neither party say anything nobody's gonna know what it could have been you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take and my thing is you can't expect to win the game when having somebody trying to score in your basket you have to shoot the shot so you can score put me on you the bench <laughs> That's just you talk about put me. There's some people that just I, and I get you, Courtney. I, and I'm joking. You know, I'm you know I joke when I we we've known each other a long time. You know, I joke on you, but like I get I get that. But at the same time, like I'm just saying, like sometimes you gotta step out of your comfort zone. No, no, don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a beautiful thing when women shoot their shot. I think when women propose, I think that's a beautiful thing. No. Uh-uh. Let me no. let me finish my thought. Let me finish okay. my thought. I'm sorry, I mean to cut you off, but I'm I getting my thought after that. It's a beautiful thing that women will take initiative when it comes to the aspect because society looks at men is supposed to be the person to approach, men are the person to propose, men are the, you know, they're the advancers in all these things. So I think it's a very beautiful thing when women want to, you know, take take their hand in that. However, Courtney Daniel Davis <laughs> will not. Um my only rebuttal to that is you propose to me, I'm going to say no. And then I'm going to come back the next weekend and propose to you. And then I expect you to say yes. That's like, cool. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, don't propose to me. Like, if you want, if you're, 
if you want to shoot your shot to me, that's different. You know what I'm saying? But if we're together, let me have that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's every real man's dream. Just like it's every know, real woman's any, dream to be proposed Any guy watching to. the podcast, any guy on here, if you're a woman, like, say you were in love with this woman and she proposed to you, would you accept the proposal? I just want to know. I think the guys that's watching are going to be like, girl, if you don't put that ring up, let Bruh, like say, I would look let at a you, man do what he's supposed to do. But yeah, answer that question. If she proposed, would y'all say yes at the cookout? Because it's gonna I'll be around family. I'll answer it now. I mean, okay. I'll and be I'll, like, girl, if you don't get up off your knee, that you want to up. marry this girl, she, get, she get you up. To- That's exactly what I'm gonna be. I'm gonna look. <laughs> it's all like get up. I'm gonna smile. I'll be like, oh, this is so sweet. Get up. Oh. Get <laughs> up off your knee now. <laughs> you best not. No. Brandon that's just no. it's just me it's just me like i can't i can't speak for nobody else but i don't think I, it's I, just I you to. i just think it's like like a uh, ego thing like men have egos they be like what are you doing like and then on top of that if a woman does that that's kind of like some pressure type shit like it's what pressure you know what i'm glad you said that i didn't that's want pressure. that to come out of a man's mouth <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> but that's I, some pressure that. that's some pressure because at this cause point it's, it's like now because if my thing is this, and it's still a it's it's a double standard. What I'm about to say is a double standard, and I hate it, but I hate double standards, but it's still a double standard. Because if, if we propose and then a woman says she's not ready, then a lot of people be like, Oh man, you just need to break over her. You know what I'm saying? But literally, like it's the double standard, but some men see it as you proposing to me, you're not waiting for me to propose to you, so you don't want to wait for me. You don't want to wait for my timing or our what I feel like is a, the right time, because a lot so, of times that's what it is. When a uh, guy and, proposes, you don't think that's pressure. Either? That's why I said it's a double standard. That's why I said it's a double standard. I'm just saying what men. Well, usually, when think. a guy proposes, it's not like it's done within a year or two. It's done well, like three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, like marching. Most, no, but most men, aren't most being with somebody for seven years and not getting married. Listen, I ain't been with no facts. I ain't gonna say Facts. that because they're gonna think I'm talking about them. Oh, <laughs> I ain't always gonna say numbers, but then I, I'm gonna have people be like, "You talking numbers. about me?" I, I, I mean, I was I, in a long relationship. I, I was in a long relationship, and we didn't get married. But I'm just saying, like now, I'm not being with someone for seven years. But half but, your longest relationship, but you was are in you high happy? School, but I, you can choose to ignore this question school? if you want to. No, y'all was together oh, for a long time. I'm sorry. Right as of right now, would you be like? Oh, I, I wish he would have proposed me. Are you like, oh, I'm glad I didn't. That wouldn't. Say that one more time, Ashley. I'm sorry. Because she said she was in a long relationship. And so she said she wouldn't go that long again, like without some type of commitment or whatever. I'm so not I'm going. I'm to look back on that relationship. I'm not talking about like the stage where you're still getting to know each other. I'm not counting that in. So if it's okay. a year to the get day that you said we're going to be boyfriend like and girlfriend, to, like we want to be together. I'm not yeah. counting that year. I'm saying from the time that we say that we are together, right. we're, we're letting everybody know this. I'm talking about from that moment. I'm not waiting seven years for you to be like, do you want to marry me? Because I would. I always felt like almost that. Almost a decade to figure out if you want to marry me my, but listen, that being said i'm not going to be the girl to start leaving wedding magazines around either i'm not going to be like have you thought about the future like i'm not doing that but you got to have a conversation sometimes i mean if it comes up organically i'm not going to be like the person to be like um you know be like that was such a beautiful wedding um when is ours but after a while <laughs> After a I while, think you, you should gotta... discuss that in the beginning. Like, do you want to get right, married? Right. In the beginning, like, right. like my conversations with guys is, do you want to have children? Like, do you want to have more children? Because most, married? most, most guys already have children. You know. Right. No, um, I'm saying like I'm not gonna lead them on. Like, I want you to ask me to marry me because you want to marry me, not because right, I'm right, right. In your and I totally, family. I totally understand that. But I think that I think at a certain time, a certain length women do have to apply pressure because men get content. They hit that plateau and they're like, oh, we coasted. We good. I don't gotta, I don't gotta step up them stairs. So sometimes like some men and some men be like, yeah, I want to marry you. Like I, I do want to marry, but I just it just never crossed my mind. I've literally heard that conversation before. And like, I don't understand never, that. I don't I, understand I've heard that, that too. I've heard that too, but I'm I don't like, I do either. not but I think it's because but his reasoning say, get, is like so I'm used to this, right? Right. And they a lot so of men don't like change, and that's another we, form of commitment. 
Mm -hmm. If we've talked and you know I want to get married, why would you think that I would just be complacent just being together for years on end? I don't understand that. So what's the time frame then? So so I think if you're going to talk about in the beginning, like after, you know, y'all done dated, now y'all in the relationship, and y'all talked about credit score, because Danielle has said something about that. She's like, in the beginning when I meet a guy, I'm not, we're not discussing my finances. So after you made that decision, like with boyfriend, girlfriend, this is exclusive. Now you start talking about the important shit, the credit score, the debt, the kids, the marriage. So now, what is the, in numbers, what is the time frame? Were you like, okay, I ain't about to be sitting here this much longer. So, so is it reasonable to say three? Years? Yeah. So let's say six months, you got to know each other. Like y'all spent hella time together. Now y'all six months in, y'all boyfriend, girlfriend. You know, you don't drop everybody. You're only talking to this person. Now y'all exclusive. So now y'all three years, six months in. Is it now time for the proposal? Is it now time to be like, so for me, what for me it ain't going to take, it ain't gonna take me three and a half years. I would I, say, at the, oh, go ahead, Courtney. I'm sorry. No, 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 you're good. Because I want to hear your, your side of this being as a man that would like, because I think you were trying to say like how long it would take you to decide if yeah. you want to marry this person. But I think I could probably... I could probably do four, close to okay. five years. Okay. Yeah, I think it I don't. Do four close it to don't. Five. It don't take me that long. And I'm gonna be well, honest. Yeah, it's, well, yeah, men, I'm, it doesn't take that long. I've heard. No, but it's the problem is the men though. Like it, I, I'm stepping on toes, but a lot of times I'll give I'll give you a very true story. My mom used to date this guy, <laughs> who, before they got together. He was engaged for 15 years. This is not a lie. This is not a lie. He was engaged with this woman for one, five years. I'll tell you another story. I went in Food Lion in Florence and um, this girl had this big old rock on. And I'm like, man, that's a nice ring. Like how long have you been married? And she was like, oh, I'm not married. I'm engaged. And I was like, oh, okay, dope. How long, you know, when, you know, when's the wedding? We haven't set a date yet. Oh, he just proposed. Uh, we've been engaged for four years. I said, four years? As a matter of fact, I put a post on that night and we had a conversation about it. Um, my thing is like, a lot of times, a lot of times men use that tool, use the proposal, use the engagement as a way for them to- string to, them along. To string them along, mm-hmm. keep them like, oh, I'm engaged, you know what I'm saying? They're doing the whole Beyonce thing. And it's like, he has no, they even set a date and they've been engaged for five years. For me, like to answer that question, for me, it don't take me that long. It don't take me that long to know if I want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I hate people be like, I'm in the talking stage for 12 months. I don't take me that long to know if I want you to be my girlfriend. It don't take me that long. I would say right at the end of three years, I'm thinking about proposal. I'm thinking okay. about what's going to happen right at, excuse me, right at the end of two years, not three years, right at the end of two years, but it's technically three years. If we're talking like what Courtney's saying, we're in the talking stage for a year and then we're together for two years. You know what I'm saying? At the end of that two years, I'm thinking, though, okay, yeah, this is this is gonna be my future. Okay, so you know after saying? you propose, then what is the time frame for the actual wedding? Is it the typical I, within a at year? At max, at max a year. And that's only but, because I'm bougie and I want a big wedding. Yeah, like, I, that's what wait. I was gonna say. I was gonna be like, um, I was gonna be like, I think a lot of people do the year thing for one. To make sure they family know that, that they can come get the vacation right. baby. Get yourself and also, together. because yeah. you gotta save money now. But I right. feel like I but feel I, like I, I, that's I'm a whole sorry. other conversation. I think like we should start saving money now because you know you want if you know you want to get married, like yes. go ahead yes. and start saving money now. At like, the moment that wait. I'm thinking about proposing is when I'm I'm getting the money for that ring, but I'm also mm-hmm. putting money aside for that wedding. Cause like I said, I know, I, I, I know, I feel almost feel bad for anybody that says yes to me because I know I don't want no simple wedding. I just don't like I'm, I'm boozy. I want an elegant, extravagant wedding. And that's what I'm going to have. I you know what I'm saying? You. I got my colors. I got my the the like, colors, my nigga? Like, yeah, like, like potential you, colors, potential colors. Cause obviously what are they? Like, give me three. What, what are they? My colors are. So I want an olive green and gray. With the with the bridesmaids like 
Ooh, Something there you they go tear like... your ass up. My phone will be ringing <laughs> off the hook. I like the olive green. I don't like the gray. But I'm like, like, that nigga know his wedding colors. Like, it, look, I'm like, that nigga is different. I'm just saying. And it's no, it's no softness. It's just, I don't like the fact. You know, uh, I think I'm. I think that I'm I'm scarred from Bridezilla. I used to watch that with my mom all the time. And yeah, I'm scarred from his... You would be surprised how many men want colors, want the cake a certain way, want the food a certain way, but they sit there because their fiance is telling them, You this is my day, you just show it up. Oh yeah. Well, you know I what ain't what see you Otis. They don't, right. <laughs> they came to see me. They don't stand when you come down the aisle. If, they stand you, when I do. <laughs> if you pay if you pay attention to engagement photos. And wedding photos, men do love that shit because they got their boys you. with the shades on, they got I'm the tux, they got they, 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 they throwing up fine. Like, I know men what I want to do, like do when shit. I like, come I out. To that stuff. Like, I know what I want to do when we come out. I know what I want my groomsmen to do when they come out. Like, it's just, I want to be as involved as my wife. I love that. I would want my whoever I'm in, I want them to be involved as possible. The only right. thing is, there's some things that I will not compromise on. Is What's what? That? There's some things that I won't compromise on. Like what? My three dresses. Ashley, you know I want my three dresses. I'm having mm-hmm. three dresses. And the amount of bridesmaids I want. Okay, how many, Courtney? See, that's ever- that's fine. Because I want, like, okay. the, the amount of bridesmaids that I want don't, like, I want groomsmen. I have, like, friends, friends, brothers. Like, I have, I want a big wedding. And people be like, oh, I want something simple. That's you. That's fine. Wow. I hope that you don't want to be with me. Because you need to find 17 people. 17? <laughs> I'm, I'm just throwing a number. I'm just throwing a number. I'm just throwing a number. Okay, so my number, number. Is, it was six, but I forgot somebody when I was thinking about this the other day. It's actually seven. Okay, that's not bad. Seven's not, not bad at all. Yeah, because I was thinking like, but my I was thinking thing that's like 10 or 12. I'm like, come on, yo. My thing is that if whoever I'm marrying, if they don't know seven people, like if they don't have seven friends, we got to start pulling cousins or something. Well, usually it's for it's family anyway. That's it's not just straight friends. It's like, no, it's gonna be family and everything. I like I got, and I have. That's just that's just the thing, and that's the reason why. Like I said, a number like seventeen. I didn't really technically mean seventeen for me, but like if my wife said, "Hey, I'm in a sorority and I want my whole line there," and her whole line is like nine deep, and then she got a sister, and then she got a, a favorite cousin. Now I'm gonna have to call and be like, "Look." And I'm fine with that, though, because I would love a big wedding. Not a long, drawn-out wedding. We might have to come up four by four instead of two by two. (laughs) We're going to get this thing done. But, like, that's what I want. My situation would be different if I... I keep saying this. When I get married, uh, my situation would be different because you know how they have, like, what is the maid of honor and the the groomsmen? Like, my the person that would be standing behind me would be a guy. Like, and I think he already knows who he is. But it would be a guy. So my wedding would already be kind of different and I, I i want it small like not that many people standing up there the reason why is because when i used to watch bridezilla and people be like hate, hating and jealous people don't be showing up on time for fittings people be like oh i ain't got the money for this like i ain't going through all that so but that's how you i want a not, destination though, wedding so i'm letting y'all know now y'all will be flying out it's a destination wedding so, Ashley, I don't care what you do with your wedding. As long as I'm a bridesmaid, because I feel like I have deserved that spot, I feel like I earn it. That's the only thing I care about. I'm not going to say I deserve the groomsmen spot, but I at least deserve to be able to sing somewhere in this wedding. I just think that you should. Listen, you know your thing. I know. I <laughs> right beside Ashley, I don't have to be the maid of honor. I ain't got to do all that. I just know I'm a bridesmaid, whether she want me to or not, or I'll knock everything down in that wedding. Listen, I, like I said, I, it's, it's going to be really exclusive to the people like, oh, you fucks with me? Oh, what, you booked your ticket yet? Like, you just not come here getting drunk and eating good and electric sliding all across my dime. No. Yeah, like, and then I don't need you buying no gifts to me because I'm good. Didn't someone have a question? Yeah, Brandon said, do you prefer being with someone, somebody that has multiple kids or zero to one kids? Uh, we touched on this, Brandon, but I'll quickly... Uh, I talk about this again. Uh, me and Courtney prefer no kids. Daniel, he got his stepdaddy license, you know, so he don't mind. I don't know if he has a number. I'm gonna say two for him, you know, but he seems like a lovable. No, guy. I said I, I said the number. Two. Three? I said three max. Three yeah, max. Said, three max. Okay. You got more than that. We gotta have a conversation. <laughs> Does baby daddies Ooh. matter? Can it be three baby daddies or or do it matter? Oh, I'm sorry. Three different baby daddies? 
Yeah, how many baby daddies is your within your equation? I don't think Step I've ever thought equation. of that. I don't think I've ever. Thought oh, you of got that. it. Um, um, three kids. How many baby? Daddies? It depends on the situation. Let me tell you why. Okay, I'm not gonna do this long drawn out thing because I know right. we're, we're done. But the only reason why I say it depends on the situation is because if you if you have multiple baby daddies and one of them is just not in his life, you know what I'm saying? Like he's content with getting the money taken out of his account. And as far as baby, you know, child support, I'm I'm chilling. And even if he's if they're straight, like if they're not drama filled, if they're not causing issues, it wouldn't necessarily bother me. But if you, you know what I'm saying? And that that's I guess that goes for one baby daddy too. Like if you got a baby yeah. daddy that's crazy, I'm I'm sorry. Like you're a great girl, but I, I can't deal with this. Um <laughs> so yeah, it just depends on the situation. But yes, I renewed my stepdaddy license last month, so I'm good. Currently, <laughs> uh, so uh, multiple kids. How many kids? No kids. How, I mean, I quickly. can do. What did I say? You said you like two. No, you prefer no kids, but I prefer no probably... kids, but we know that's very unlikely, right? And you also very said unlikely. because of the fact that you, I don't want kids, right? So that might it, it helps ease the pain. You know, I, I, I want to touch on. I want to. We need to come back on that and touch on that because, like. We need a, a guy. Brandon, what do you feel about that? Because you're very active. What do you feel about a woman? Would you date a woman? Let's say you want more kids. Even though Courtney's beautiful, she got her shit together. Would you skip over Courtney because she does not want children? <laughs> or would you be like, or would you sacrifice and be like, you know what? Courtney's the love of my life. Oh, Fuck it. I'm just not going to have kids because she doesn't want it. Or would you just be like, I want more kids. I want kids. So I want to talk about that. Like I want to talk about guys that want children, but the woman that they may be with be like, uh, uh. I think it, I think it makes just as much importance as um woman that like in your situation, court uh, not court, sorry, Ashley. Um, if you met a guy that didn't want kids, even though you want kids, I think that oh, would I, be. Oh, I skipped too. over his ass. I stopped talking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Well. <laughs> You and me and Ashley have talked about this. I right now my answer is I don't want kids. However, you've already to told you've already told me this, so I, I know exactly what you're about to say. I think I told everyone this because I yeah, talked yeah. about it in the thing too. Um, however, you're inclined to change your mind. It's circumstances. I, if he's a great guy, he got to be one hell of a guy. No, because I don't want to have kids for the guy. <laughs> It's for I want to have kids for myself. Like, okay, so, mm -hmm. right, I don't want kids. Right now, my statement is I don't want kids. However, I have had baby fever in the past. But, you know, I kind of got over it when you see, like, a badass kid in the store and you're like, that's why. You but, know, um, <laughs> but, I mean, it could change. It could change. I just know right now my mind is not set on not having kids. But to say that... It, I wouldn't have baby fever fever in the future since I've had it in the past. I can't say that. Well, all right then. We're gonna close out the show on. <laughs> Let's get there's Courtney. a possibility that Courtney might, you know. <clears throat> Let's get Courtney pregnant. All right, Let's... so uh <clears throat> Yeah, she's been trying to, to get you out there for That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the like, whole show. <laughs> Talk about Zoom call, personal Zoom, Zoom call. call. That's gonna be the baby daddy after a while. <laughs> no, hell no. Let's get well, her pregnant. I, <laughs> all right, so um, all right, so any anything y'all want to wrap up? Y'all want to? I mean, yeah, because uh, so oh, so basically the scenario five about uh people liking or loving your Facebook status and stuff, and then you seeing them in person. I think we all kind of agree, like we don't care per se we don't care um you know just yeah. if you laugh if you laugh at my shit in person when you see me just just ha ha it on social media just you know but well, my thing is how would you how would you know that they saw you or it like they're saying like oh i saw your stuff on yeah like i'll oh, be at walmart i'll be at okay. walmart i'll be at family doll i'll be at dollar tree and they're like girl you're so funny you know i'm like thank you Oh, I see what you're saying. Now. And then I'd be like, she ain't like my stuff. You know, she ain't laughed at it, but I don't care. Um, you know, but yeah. So um, this is great. Uh see you guys next week. 
thank you, Brandon, for being very active tonight. I we'll see you on Thanks, Brandon. Yeah, we will see you on the next episode. You know, just yeah. I'm gonna call you when I get in the car too, Brandon. You got that thing tonight? The, I got um, over my tonight. Yeah, okay. if y'all not doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? And you around the Florence area, come hang out with your boy. I'm hosting an open mic. I host an open mic at Absolute Hookah Lounge every Sunday. I get there at 10 30, 11 just because of the podcast, but it starts at 10. So, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come chill with your boy. Well, all righty then. Peace out. Okay, let me stop the one. Did you press the button?